Hello and welcome to another video and as you can see we are playing a new game this time Railway Empire This was a freebie on Epic Games this week. It still is actually I think from today the 10th of September to the 17th of September um, No particular interest in railway building games or anything like that. I just thought I'd pick it up. Sounds interesting Looks okay in terms of visuals. Well, so from my thought from the screenshots um, So we're gonna go straight into chapter one of the campaign in 1863 in the Great Plains of America uh, where we go to the construction sites of the Union Pacific Railroad and we'll go from there uh, we'll just jump straight in we can see we've already got the contenders and our name set up I and the best choice. I know that we can only pick the industrialist this is as far as I've got I haven't got any further than this honestly so I've had no practice on this game uh, perks are newly constructed factories are 50% cheaper we're backhandedly which means we could buy a town's factory without an auction and we're shy, which means auctions are 50% more expensive. Don't have a clue about um, how this business so, works. technically this one kind of overrides this one, you'd think, but who knows? Let's see what you actually uh, do in, in this 1863, then. on the banks of the Missouri River, the last chapter in the monumental undertaking of the Transcontinental Railroad began. The workers of the Union Pacific Railroad began laying their tracks westward from Omaha through the wild heart of the North American continent. Massive challenges awaited them. Away from all civilization, the country was vast, the weather ruthless, and the challenges tremendously energy sapping. But there was a masterstroke of modern engineering to be accomplished. To tame the wilderness and to conquer it with steel, fire, and steam. Never before had anything like this been ventured. But the time was ripe. Cool. Right. Greetings. Where does this take My us My name then? is Thomas Clark Durand. Exactly. The head of Union Pacific. We will go down in history as the ones who created the Transcontinental Railroad. And that, my friend, is your job as chief engineer. I can supervise everything so here on site right now, as I have sure to be a with small some tutorial? politicians in Washington. <laughs> First, you should familiarize yourself with the basic controls. Move the camera in all directions. Now, test the camera's zoom function. You can also rotate that. the camera. Give it a try. Very good. Now you know the basic controls. Your first task is to create a rail connection between Omaha and Norfolk to the northwest. Both cities will need a station for this. You already have a station in Omaha, but you still need to build one in Norfolk. To do this, switch to building construction mode. His pronunciation of Norfolk is interesting, and I know this is an American game well an american location at least needs american but i'm from norfolk in the uk and it's not norfolk i can assure you but um we'll overlook that just as a slight hilarity on my part so um build a train station okay so just a train station a small stone train station or a large train station we just said train station so um did we just pop that in the middle i guess there very good there we go. Now the two stations need to be connected with tracks. Okay. To do this, switch to track construction mode. Now plan the tracks between the stations in Norfolk and Omaha. It's fairly to intuitive. This, you can see everything light up. Station you tracks need to one after the other. Click on. Then pay for your track planning. Can we get that there? Here we go. And pay. And I now think... create your first. Oh, we just demolished a building so by doing that. Set up a rail line between your stations. Excellent. Initially, your train only exists on paper. Man's it's not train? much use to you without a locomotive. Uh, locomotive. That's another new word. Uh, right. Uh, so we've got a Philadelphia 060. 27 miles an hour. That's insanely fast, isn't it? Uh, okay, did I buy that? Yeah, I did. Right. Additionally, each train needs a rail line that passes through all the stations it should stop at. Now join your two stations to the rail line by click. selecting them one after the other. And That's click. enough for your first rail line. Hey. Now confirm it so it becomes active. Very good. Now you can see the journey your there train will take. If there is something to transport, the, the cool train will town, automatically take it. Neat. I like that. 
And it just seemed to reset itself there. Maybe it's not as cool as I thought. But it looks okay, doesn't it? Graphically quite pleasing. However, as each locomotive needs water, sand, and lubricant on its journey, we have to place a supply tower along the route. Okay. And just there. It wants it. There we go. Very good. The train is now traveling between Omaha and Norfolk. But you can do even more. Each city needs okay. goods from the surrounding area. For example, every city needs corn. Look, Everyone there likes is a corn, corn farm near Omaha. Mm, corn. Until now, the corn has made it to the city in the conventional way. But we want to change that. Now construct a rural train station in the marked location with a corn farm within its radius. Ah, that is a small station. You should say small, not rural. You know, that's not obvious. Uh, we need to get that turned. Uh, there we go. Shift and spin. There we go. Now connect the new rural train station to the station in Omaha. And there. And now things are getting tricky as we have to deal with a logistical problem. As Norfolk should also enjoy fresh corn, there will soon be two trains traveling on the stretch of track between Omaha and Norfolk. Of course, this will then result in a conflict. Of course. Since trains cannot Very travel sensible. through each other, you'll need a side track between Omaha and Norfolk. This consists of one parallel track and two signals. Okay. First, create a side track. It needs to be at least long enough for a fully loaded train. Uh, there? There. Yeah, that looks side tracky. There we go. Is that okay? Yeah. And then we come back in there. Is that done? Excellent. Yeah. However, your trains won't necessarily use the sidetrack as they generally always take the shortest route. For this reason, you also have to specify the direction of travel on each parallel track. Now open building construction mode and set up a signal in the highlighted area pointing in the direction of the switch. Trains okay. will then be able to stop here when the single track is in use. So click it and then click it now again. make sure that the track can only be traveled in one direction. For this purpose, set the signal so the trains coming from the opposite direction cannot pass. Hold shift button and select the signal. Excellent. Ah, there we go. So now you put a little the blocker on there. The parallel track so that each parallel track has a different direction. Place a second signal in the highlighted area and block the track to trains coming that from way? the opposite direction. Very good. That way, I'm sure yeah. that it wasn't at all easy. You will soon come to realize that signals are an important aid in guaranteeing smooth rail operations. You will find more information and tips under Hints and Tips. Okay, but I've only got one train, so technically I'm not going to have a problem. Now of... assemble a new train ah, okay. and give it a locomotive and a rail line. Your new rail line should run via Omaha to Norfolk so that the people of Norfolk can be supplied with corn. Okay, and we'll buy another Philadelphia. And it's going to start the farm to Omaha to Norfolk. And we go. Excellent. The corn farm will automatically make use of your train because the cities along your rail line are demanding corn. Conventional transportation is much more costly for the farm. Is it we're still it? missing something. Locomotives wear out over time and need to be regularly maintained so they can perform their duties more reliably. For this purpose, there needs to be at least one maintenance building on each rail line where locomotives can be serviced if necessary. Okay. Construct such a maintenance building at your station in Omaha now. To do this, select the station itself and expand the station with this building. Okay, I think they both do the same thing by the sound of it. Um, right, okay. we've been lollygagging for long enough. I need to return to Washington for further miserable negotiations. Lollygagging is not a word you hear very often. Uh, I've like written that. a task list for you. Take a look at it and complete the tasks within the given time period. Oh, I will. Do not disappoint me. Okay, right. So we've got two trains operating, and quite happily, I imagine they've got supplies. Um, 
Yeah, cool. Well, we've done what he said, so happy days. Right, let's not worry about tips, tips and tricks. Let's just go and see what he's got in store for us. So we need to connect by 1864, Omaha and North Plate, and Omaha and Cheyenne. And you can correct me on that pronunciation if I've said anything wrong there. So, yeah, I mean, my criticisms might be slightly hypocritical then on the pronunciation of Norfolk, but uh, okay. Right, so Omaha and North Plate and Omaha and Cheyenne. So let's just get those together. Um, oh, there they are, North Plate and Cheyenne, and Omaha is over here. So let's first of all connect. So we've got to build a station first, haven't we? So let's get a train station in here. And then we'll pop a track to Omaha. So I suppose it will just sort of bundle in there, yep. Yeah. And build that. Good. That's finished. You are making progress. But we've got to bear in mind a signal because if he's got to wait, isn't he? Because these other trains. So let's pop a signal here. Um, that's fine. So hopefully, when we get a train on the track, it can deal with that. And we made the news. Good stuff. Happy. Happy days on that one, right? Um, and then the train can obviously then come back the other way. Hopefully, it's a long, long journey. This one. We better put a supply one in the middle, actually, because that's going to get a bit knackered in it. Um, put that about halfway, so about there, 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 there. Excellent. Um. So now, if we want to connect that up, can we then build a station here? And then we take that from that one. And can we connect that one to that one? And we've got a... Those politicians in Washington get Good. on one's nerves. But now let's get back to your tasks. As you can see, Cheyenne is still a little town hoping for an upswing caused by the railroad connection. But a city will only attract new inhabitants if it is supplied with enough goods. Yeah. Cities receive basic goods from the surrounding area. If you construct stations in the right places, and establish rail lines, your trains will be used to transport goods and you will make profits for transportation. Good. But for this, Good. you have to know what goods a city actually needs. You can find out any city's current needs. Now select Cheyenne and view the city's demand for goods. As you can see, Cheyenne currently needs only a handful of goods and you can only deliver goods that are in demand. As the city grows, it will demand further goods. At the moment, you can supply grain and wood. Both of these goods are available to the north of Cheyenne. Okay. So it's demanding meat, wood, corn, and grain. And it's currently got some in stock, but you can imagine that will just get used up. Connect uh, Cheyenne to a timber business and a wheat okay. farm and establish a new rail oh, line no, that connects them both to Cheyenne. Okay, so you've got timber and you've got wheat. Um, so I guess we'll need a station that sits in between and we can capture both. That would be the most ideal. If we sort of put it that way. No, we could use a large station. Like a hub then, won't it? Let's pop that there. Okay. Let's do that. That's capturing both that way, isn't it? Now if we pop a track down, so we've got four tracks to choose from. And we'll get that to pop along into Cheyenne. Did that connect? It might not have done. Oh, I think it did. No, I think it did. We're alright. No, it didn't. <laughs> no, let's get rid of that. That's me being silly. Right. Uh, let's do that again. And just get it there. 
There we go. Right, perfect. And we'll need a signal there as well, because I'm going to have some trains. I'm dealing with that. So, signal down there. Switch it around. There we go. And we also need a nice supply tower. And it needs to be maintained. It's right near. Don't apologize, do, but it needs to be maintained. We can we get a maintenance station in here? There you go. Okay, that looks decent. So let's start with, and I know we haven't been asked to do this, but just for my own benefit of practice, let's get a train to go through these three stations. Let's buy another Philadelphia class train. Did I just build that or not? I did, yeah. And get it to go between these three. I think it'll be quite good. So let's go Cheyenne. To North Plate to Omaha and that in my mind would be fine but then can we go out the other way as well and then back to North Plate and then back to Cheyenne and then it would just pick up and I guess it would share the goods across all three of them so that's that's that one hopefully we'll start to see it roll Sort of stuff we got on here. Mail, some passengers. Okay, and the last thing I'll do for this video is get a train between these two. Um, so let's pop. Uh, that's the only choice we've got of Philadelphia. We'll go between there and there. Good. Well done. The oh, well, that was, of, of course, a challenge. So that's good. You can good. see how well it is being supplied at any time in the city dialogue. Basically, a city will grow once its demands are sufficiently met. I think you have learned enough. Complete the rest of your tasks. Thank you. Thank you But very much. you certainly won't have any success with so little capital. I might have not planned on this being a loss-making business, but I'll help you out this one last time. Okay, well he's given us some money, so that is a good place to end it. So we've achieved some stuff, and we've got plenty more to do in the next video. So thank you for watching.